1949 Mercury. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Celescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Tonight we get to look at one of the first cars that came out after World War II ended. And this is the 1949 Mercury kit, which is a three-in-one from the old days and was very, very popular as a real car to customizers and hot riders alike. So now let's go down to our bench and open the lid on this amazing kit. Now we're going to examine Mercury's contribution to the car world in 1949 as we check out the 49 Mercury. Now this car was very popular among customizers. And now we're going to find out how many custom pieces are in this amazing kit. So here we go again. Bought this one on April 9th, 2003 at Walmart. Uh, no, Toys R Us. <laughs> Look at that. Wall crossed out and Toys R Us. And I said that on film. That's amazing. Yep, back in the day for $15, which, hey, doesn't happen in Canada here anymore. The same kit now would be about $38 is unbelievable. Uh, okay, our inflation is horrible. So here we go. We've got the Mercury V8 with that big huge air cleaner. And then when you get into the custom engine, it's the Chrysler 426. And this is a rare engine because it's got the split carburetors on it, which would put it about 1962 sort of era. And then look at the choices of wheels we get with this thing. You get the stock wheel, you get chrome reverse wheels, and you get baby moons for both the front and back. The tires are the typical Firestone vinyls and Goodyear Rally GTs. And then we have our steering, which you could actually swing this from left to right because they do give you the pins. And then this is one of the rare kits that has a trunk mat in the back because it also has an opening hood and an opening trunk. And then there is your fuel cell going in the back, and the rear suspension, and our interior, which includes a lot of custom bits. You can build it stock or add in the console with a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, a telephone and a television, and the custom steering wheel, and bucket seats and then down here is how the body goes together opening trunk lid with a hinge the rear glass opening hood and it tells you to cut open your fenders for bigger tires for the custom you also get this nice uh, jack with tools and an engine stand to display your second engine and of course there is a stock version and our custom version and you can also use the grill insert or the mesh grill with our French headlights and smooth off the rear bumper and Cadillac taillights so yes this was quite a custom piece and I do believe George Barris had some work to do with this kit and now here's our body molded in gray Nice detail for Mercury, the big letters, big, big Mercury letters on the hood. Opening hood, and of course, there's our interior tub with the knockouts for your hinges, for your trunk lid. And as you can see, it's got that nice carpet right there underneath our car. Our chrome pieces, which I'm going to keep in the bag just to protect the chrome. But you can see the nice detail, the big old bumpers, baby moon hubcaps, all kinds of other goodies. Our collection of tires and taillights. The decal sheet, 
which only includes a bunch of sponsor logos, unfortunately. There's our Chrysler engine. And here's the Ford engine, along with our custom pieces, including that little TV. I used one of these little TVs as a game console for a 70s car. It was kind of interesting. And of course, there's our engine stand and the smoothed out custom bits. Our axle with seats and a roll bar. The windshield glass. Dashboard. The bench seat with the ropes on the back. Now I did glue this together. I started to work on this model, I will confess. But not to the point where we don't know what's in the box. There's a bunch of the loose bits as well. And that brings us to a conclusion of our review of the 1949 Mercury Kit. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box, where we got to open up the lid on our 1949 Mercury. And if you would like to continue watching these amazing videos, please watch them here, here, and here. And don't forget to subscribe to us right down here so I can continue to open up lids and show you what's in the box.